Hi guys, I'm Put here from my lab YouTube channel and today we are going to solve plus minus in hacker rank using Python. So let's get started. Uh, we will get a list of numbers and then we should return how many of them in fraction are positive and how many of them are negative and how many of them are zeros. So for example if we take this list we have 3, 4 and 1. Those are positive numbers which means 0.5 of this list or half of this list is positive. Let me show you with the calculator how we can calculate the fractions. So for example if we had three positive numbers we will subtract it from the list length or how many items are in the main list. So this is 6 and if we calculate we would get 0.5 which is correct. So let's write the code. Oops, I've written something here, but anyway, I'm just doing some experiments. Anyway, uh, okay. There is more than one way we can solve this. I will show you two of them. But let's start with the simple one. We would need a positive list. Okay, here we will store the positive numbers. Or we can say just for shortcut, just say plus and make negative list or negative numbers list and zeros. Cool. Now we want to iterate through the array we get over here. So we will say for i in array. Then we want to check if i is bigger than 0, then add it. If it's bigger than 0, then it's positive. So pause the list append. So add this element that's bigger than 0 to the positive list. Else f, else f i is smaller than 0, which means it's negative, then add it to the negative list should append the i that's less than 0. If it's neither one of those, then definitely it's 0. So add it to the zeros. Append i. OK. Now if we would print those lists, Just to show you. Let's run the code. What do we have over here is positive numbers, negative numbers, and zeros. Cool. So as we want them. Now, <coughs> we don't want the numbers. We want to see how many positive items are in the positive lists and then subtract it to the main array so we get the fraction so here for example we would say positive list subtracted by the link of the main array and the same goes for this and the same goes for this one the code mm, what went wrong oh yeah <laughs> sorry now this is a list and we want to subtract actually we don't want to subtract the list we want to subtract the length of the positive list and the length of the negative list and the length of the zeros Run the code and here we go. And if you see something that those are not uh, like this zero places or the fraction numbers, in their solution it's six numbers, but in our solution it's, it's uh, somewhat inconsistent. We can fix this 
with the round function. I'll apply all in here just to show you. Build button and round, then you put the how many digits you want. For example, we want six of them. Now, if I would run the code, I applied it only in the first one. Some more, how it doesn't work. Anyway, but supplement the code, it should work just perfect. Okay, let me show you the other one, which is this. Okay, I won't, I won't write the code again, just let me explain it to you. We would create a conditional list where if x is bigger than 0, it will, of course it would loop through the array, and if it find the x or the element is bigger than 0, which is positive, then it would add the 1 to this list. If it's less than, uh, okay, else it would be negative 1. If it's less than 0, else it would make 0. So we would have uh, this list zeros, ones, and negative ones. Then we would want to get the length of this array, the main array, and then we will print and subtract how many ones or my, my negative ones or zeros subtracted by the length of the array. So here, for example, is to count one. We would count the ones on this list, which is basically created every time. So if if he founds that while he's looping, if he founds that there is three digits that are bigger than zeros, then we would have in this list three ones. And if there's three uh, negative numbers, for example, we'd have three minus ones, and so on. Then we print it and voila that's it. Let me show you if we run the code. But this is the cleaner because it gives the identical output. Submit the code. It just works. So yeah, I would be glad if you would tell me. I don't know why here it didn't uh, fix the digits digits places. And uh, yeah, if you have a better solution, let me know down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe because there is a lot of videos coming up. And see you in the very next video. Peace out.